I was born at Rasden, mate, actually. Really? Really, yes. Wow. What year? 1946. Um, my parents were Jean and uh, Jean Laurel Cowell and Reg Hodge. Who are you? Have you got any siblings? Yeah, I have one brother and one sister, both deceased. Of oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Been Hodgy all my life. Great deal, no, because my mother passed away when I was only six years old, so yeah. not a lot of family holidays as such, no. Right, so you sort of hung around parks. Oh yeah, most, oh, I went away a few times with aunties and uncles, but not very often. Oh, with the, like, aunties and uncles and cousins, a lot of time with those, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Particularly on my mother's side, yeah. My yeah. grandmother raised me and, <coughs> and my mother passed okay. away. Uh, my first job was at the Western People newspaper. And what did you do there? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that, learning a bit about the printing trade. I was there for 10 months and then I went to the Champion Post. So tell us about the printing. Um, well, it was pretty basic in those days. It was totally different to what it is nowadays. Yeah. What, what they call hot metal, which is setting it all on linotypes and so forth and then placing oh. it into the... Uh, Chases to put it on the machines. It's a lost art. Oh, it is, yes. It's a lost art. It is mate. indeed, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, it's a, it's a lost art. So your first job was at the Western Post. Yeah. I was there for 10 months yeah, and then yep. went to the Champion Post. Yeah. And my grandmother, my, my, mother, my mother's mother, yeah, because she raised us. And, and my grandfather, he passed away before. Not long after my mother was born, so, so didn't know him at all. Eh? Cowboys and Indians and made billy carts, never at home during the day, we were always off somewhere. Now you were in the town band? Oh, I was in the town band for a little while, yeah, for probably, I don't know, three or four years. What, what instrument did you play? I uh, started off on the bass and graduated to you. Yeah. A baritone or a euphonium? Yeah. Me too. I was, yeah. a I was a bass E flat. Yeah, well I was too to start with. A Morris Minor. Oh, love it. 1951 Morris Minor. Oh, oh some of my workmates and... It's in my time at the Champion Post and different things and yeah. met different people in different sports as I've, over the years, yeah. yeah. And a lot of, lot of good friends, some of them have been lifelong friends. I can remember having a yo-yo when I was a kid and what they call a slinky. People probably wouldn't remember that. The they, old... they were coming back into fashion now, I think. Yeah. Oh, playing sport. I was heavily involved in sport all my life, up until I got to a stage where I couldn't. Played rugby league for 10 years, then graduated to golf. Wow. Played golf from probably late 1960s to right through to 98, and then took up lawn bowls. Played a bit of baseball in between while I was playing golf. Huh? Played lawn bowls right up until I become unable to play with my medical condition. Yeah. I was heavily involved in the uh, administration side of all those sports. Yeah. Spent plenty of time on the committees and what have you. Yeah. As, oh, no, went to school fairly on a regular base. Started at the primary school, uh, infant school, and yeah. graduated to the primary school and then to the high school. So um, were you an A-grade student or a oh, middle a or average? Or average, average. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, average. You yeah. were probably better off in the workforce than at school, yeah, like I was. Yeah, I did, yeah. 
Yeah. I left after I did my intermediate, which is different to what they do nowadays. Yeah, yeah that was, I think, year three. three yeah, I did three years at high school, yeah. Having good family, um, always one of the big things. So. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Hard to say, really. And having a lot of good friends as well. I've got a lot of. Yeah. Lot, had, as I say, some friends I've had basically all my life, sort of thing. And yeah. They stick by you when things are tough. And Oh, I don't know, getting out and playing every weekend and after schools and whatever you, making billy carts and yeah. all that sort of thing. Yeah. That's Spent more time out away from home at weekends than we did at home sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. Did you go fishing or anything? Yeah. Oh, in mean, later years I started going fishing, yeah, and yeah. used to enjoy my fishing, yeah. Oh. Been a while since I've been, but I'll tell you what, getting away fishing. I'd love a dollar for every time someone's read one of your newspapers. That you, that you printed? Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, and no, I was at the print champion post for 22 years. Wow. 1962 uh, to 84. I was born in 62. All right, yeah. And make you feel old now? <laughs> yeah, it does. Right. To really enjoy life as best you can. Enjoy life as best you can. I'm going to finish with that note. That's a really good one. I like